guys, it's Christy coming from my backyard again. Um, I have a candle unboxing and it's a new one that I haven't used before and I'm already excited about it because I cut the package open but um, haven't dug in yet. Um, but I can smell it from here and it smells absolutely amazing. So this company is called Firefly Candle Co. I've got my computer up right here and I'm referencing it because I've got my Etsy up and I ordered these on Etsy. So um, a Firefly Candle Company, I ordered four candles and my total, including shipping, was $61.50. So what I'm gonna start with is the two little samples that they included in here, just kind of hanging out. In, in the bag it's a, it's a box but it's got the um, priority mail bag around it and then there were two in there and one is Jurassic Forest and Moon River so the, this is the Jurassic Forest one and it smells really good I really like it I feel like I've smelled that smell before somewhere where could that have been oh guess what that's right Jurassic Park and Universal I know that was so silly right Excuse my hair is everywhere and um, then the Moon River I can't quite d d like pick out where I've smelt this one before but I want to say it's a Scentsy scent that I smelt before that smells similar to this one it's really good I love them both um, so I think uh, them sending me samples was a great way to entice me to buy more <laughs> of course that's what all of them want right Okay, so in this, this packaging, um, I had it shipped to my house rather than my P.O. box. And in the bag, this is the first time I've ever seen a candle company do this, and I like it. Well, I don't know if the candle company did or the the mailing service, but they, they put fragile one here, which is good because I've bought candles before, and none of them come broken, but there's never anything on there dictating that they're fragile. All right, so this is my invoice. The candles are $16.50 a piece, but I got one on sale, the Tah Tahitian Princess Soy Candle, and it was $12, which after shipping of $9.50, it made my total of $61.50. Okay, so this is something I was impressed with. <laughs> oh, the wind. She sent it in a box, but she wrote my name in gold Sharpie right here. Whoa, paint pen Sharpie something and with an exclamation mark. I'm so impressed with that, just because that's the slightest little attention to detail that just makes it that much more magical. So, I got four candles, like I said, and when I open up this package, I have a Firefly Candle Company. Her name's Jennifer Davis. She does movie book-inspired soy wax candles, and she is in South Carolina, um, Bluffton, South Carolina. She has an Amazon and an Etsy, and this is a magnet, so it, it will stick to my fridge, which is perfect. The next thing that I find that is super personalized is this card. It's so beautiful. It's got polka dots on the inside, and then I open it up, and it says, thank you. And she says, Christina, thank you so much for your purchase. I've enclosed two free samples to you. To you to enjoy. If you have any questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to contact me. Thanks again, Jennifer. So this is just, to me, so personalized and I love this. I am so ecstatic about this. And then the next thing is, um, be sure to burn your candle until the melted wax reaches the sides of the container. This may take three to four hours to burn time and will prevent Ex excess wax from remaining in in the container and gives you the maximum hours of burn. Wax is said to have a memory and will never burn evenly if you're if not allowed to melt fully on the first burn. I find that to be absolutely true because I had a candle last week that I lit. My husband blew it out after about five minutes of being lit. The entire time that it burned it left wax all up on the side and I didn't even feel like I got a full use of the candle. I was very disappointed. Anyway, um, always trim the wick to about a fourth of an inch before lighting. Um, all of our candles are handmade and therefore unique. You may notice some characteristics of using natural soy wax such as... Uh, 
uneven cooling or texture around the wick and frosting, which are the white crystals you may see on top of or the sides of your candle. Don't worry, these are not floss. It is the natural reaction of soy wax and it does not affect the burn or scent of your candle in the least. For wax melts, break off one or two cubes and place that. I didn't get wax melts, so I'm not going to use these. Etsy and Amazon orders, please take a moment to leave your feedback. Of course I will. Follow us on Instagram. I will do that too. And look at my hair again. Okay. So, the next thing I want to show you is each one of these candles are wrapped in a different color of tissue. How awesome is that? I am so like beyond impressed with this company right now and you guys know that I spend way too much money on candles and all these different candle companies I try out so let's just dig right in and I'll tell you what each of these candles are I believe uh, so I have two Disney inspired ones one Harry Potter inspired one and one great Gatsby inspired one and I'm gonna guess by the text by the tissue paper of which each one of them are this one can't tell by the scent it's orange so I'm gonna say it's probably the Gatsby one or the Tahitian princess one because of the color okay let's find out see if there's any like reasoning for the different colors ha 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 it's a Tahitian princess one this was the $12 one handmade Hilton Head Island South Carolina there goes my tissue paper okay I'm back so. so it is a very beautiful candle and mmm mmm <laughs> mm, it smells so tropical so let me click on so this is a sale item like I said it was $12 the other ones are $16.50 let me click on it and give you the description of the scent it is because me saying mm, it's not gonna tell you what it smells like um Overview. Oh, here it is. Description. Uh, fresh cut lemons, tropical fruits, coconut, and island palms. Totally smell that. And it's a very mmm <laughs> candle. Oh, geez. Okay. Next one. This one. I'm going to go with this one. And I'm going to say it's Quidditch because it's green. That was right. Quidditch match. Quidditch match. And, oh, that one smells really fresh. Mm. Another, mm, right? Okay, so let me go to that one. It's Quidditch match is... Uh, clean and fresh outdoors, outdoor air and uh, forest trees. I totally smell that. I like the smell of fresh cut grass. I'm going to guess that this is the other princess one in pink. But I could be wrong. It could be the Gatsby one. The Gatsby, the other one's in um, purple. Oh, it is. It's pixie dust. So pixie dust. And this one has glitter in it. It smells really good. Let's see, oh, look how beautiful that glitter is. I wish they glittered all their candles. All right, let me tell you what the scent of this one, or the, um, uh, hmm. and these two tester ones she sent me, the sample ones, I'm gonna tell you what those uh, scents are too. That way you know. Why is this not going? Oh. Here we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, pixie dust. Pixie dust. Topped with golden lime green glitters, this candle will grant the ability to take flight into the imaginary land of Tinkerbell and Peter Pan. Um, 
It's filled with scents of tropical fruits and white florals. It's with tropical coconut, citrus, lemon, and lime. That is very true to scent. It smells so good. So the last one is the Gatsby one. Gatsby, Gatsby party soy candle. And it's in purple, purple. Okay, the scent of this one is champagne, strawberries, and fresh coastal breeze. I saw the word coastal breeze and I thought of summer. What it looks like, it's a light green. Oh yeah, oh my gosh. I smell the champagne and the coastal breeze for sure. Um, I really don't smell a strong strawberry scent, but that's actually okay because I'm not, like that's not what I was drawn to. I was drawn to the champagne aspect of it and the coastal aspect of it. So, um, that candle's perfect. Okay, I'm going to look up the Moon River and the Jurassic Forest and tell you what those smell like. Here's the Moon River one right here. Moon River. Moon River. Um, it's a breakfast at Tiffany's inspired candle. It is a fresh water and twilight woods. It smells really good. Like really good. I'm going to have to get me one of those. That was their point, right? Jurassic Forest is obviously inspired after Jurassic Park. Um... Hmm. Let's see. We've taken the wonderful scent of running through the forest from, oh, my hair is in my eye. Uh, from the forest uh, from raptors and captured it into a candle. Light up the candle to enjoy the fresh scent of forest pines, yeah, and woodland foliage combined with the sweet and a toxic fruits and florals. Yeah, I totally smell that. It's definitely been a fan favorite and I'm sure you will agree. Yep, it does smell really good. Really good. <laughs> okay, um, I will leave this company's information down below in the description below and I've got to say presentation is phenomenal. I, I have officially said that I love this company already and I haven't even burnt any of the candles. F wonderful, wonderful smells. Amazing. I'm super excited to burn these candles and can't, just can't wait. All right. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a good thumbs up and don't, to hit, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks. Bye.